Cab Jesus and I, we have some great hockey highlights for you as we're getting into the playoff season. What? Just a second. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I meant uh, baseball and softball highlights as we're starting the seasons. And uh, we got some great hoops action for you as well. So watch on for some great highlights. 30th sweep. Star. Five is star. There's the ball. The rebound's knocked around, and finally it's scored by Dakota Ayala, a sophomore from the first half. Simon Fraser down by two. There's Elroy Butler with a long three. And he gives it back to Gray, who puts a shot off the glass against Bench. So Butler has the ball. Thirty is sweet. Go inside to Dominic Brad. I think if you're going to take a long three, you might as well take a three. Oh, there's a great long answer defensively for him. Oh, they go inside the big man who's checked in. No answer for him. There's a kick out. Bradley with a three ball. He's fouled by Singh. That'll be his third foul. And Bradley made the basket. And he will go to the line. Puts up a th and here comes the ball to Bradley. Now they come two on one. They give it to
on a relaxed motion and a base hit for Hatch down into the corner. And he'll turn the Jets on. Peters rounding second and he's going to turn it into a triple as it was kicked around out in the corner a little bit. The grounder through the middle infield for a base hit. Hatch gets an RBI. Please here at game time for game number two. Breaking ball called strike three. Runner goes, throw by Taylor, a nice one. And they have goals to follow. Farm had a single in the first and a pop out in the third inning. This one's a line shot for his second hit of the game. Body in the designated hitter's spot. Number five on the card. Through the left side of the infield, past the diving attempt by the shortstop Ferrari and Michael. Center field and it'll be caught. An 
a diving grab by Ali Steen, and is the double play there? Yes, it is. Here in the bottom of the fourth inning, first pitch by Carly Oshioka, and she hammers it back up the middle. Great opportunity for Willoughby, infield drawn in now. And Willoughby does just what she needed, single to left, way her in scoring position if Jareer can deliver. Infield still drawn in here with two outs. And Jareer flares one out into center field, a gallant four yard now, so they're not gonna get to it, it drops in for a base hit, and the run scores. Nice piece of base, two runs, and six hits for the Saints. Grounder up the middle and make it hit number five for the Cavs, and Steen aboard to lead off. Wind still pretty brisk from right center field into the third baseline, and the 2-2 pitch, that'll get down for a base hit, the Cavaliers will retake the lead, second hit of the game, and the second. And a called strike three on Yarnell to close out a complete game victory. Fourth strikeout of the game for Carroll College in the seventh inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. And life is a cabaret for Sally Bowles. Bessel went on at third. The off-speed pitch hit off the inside of the bat. Pitcher backed away from it the last minute. The throw will not be in time. It'll be an in. Down the left field line, and it goes by the left fielder, Nimmo. Two runs will score. They're waving Smith around third. She'll come in to score. A bases clearing double for Carly Yoshi. One ball, two strikes to count. Brooks Brown shaking off one signal, agrees to the next. Off-speed pitch, and that's going to drop down in right center field, and will carry all the way to the wall. Both runs will score. Stockton's going to stretch it to a triple, stand-up triple, two RBIs. Pinch hitter out on deck for Peyton Willoughby. And that one well hit by Summers. That's going to carry back, and it is gone. Well, that's one way to get your first hit of the year, a two-run home run for Summers and a 13-0 Cavalier advantage. That is Courtney Summers' first home run of the season. Sarman gets the ball loose and comes away with the rebound. Throws ahead to Higby, who's at the other end of the floor. Left it short, got the rebound, took it out of the hands of Evans. Williams for three. Deal to Sarman, Etherly the trailer, kicks to LaShore, and Bezaldinos open for three. Great ball rotation by... Sarman, nice pass underneath to LaShure on the screen, and he just takes the ball away from Skidmore. Bezaldinos to LaShure away. Bezaldinos accelerates past everyone. Point range in the first matchup in November. Williams from three. Sarman around Taylor's screen. Was alone for a minute. Goes to Williams for three instead. She winds up on her behind, but makes her... With the fake, Etherly for a three. Tamika now, Vesaldinos to go through. Sarman, Vesaldinos for three from the top. The Cavaliers. Vesaldinos in some traffic as she bangs off a of Skidmore. Puts her up on a switch and they get a turnover. Williams ahead to Vesaldinos, one on one with Hingston. Lays it in. Etherly down the lane, leaves Perla Sure for the Lewis up top. Pulls up against Evans for three. Evans, stolen by Higby, throws it off, ball exceptional, has never been so affordable. Lob for Evans for a three-pointer as LaShore swings at it, no good. Sarman the rebound, and the Cavaliers don't have to advance it into the four-court even. And it looks like the Falcons won't foul, and the Cavaliers will hang on for another thrilling victory, having to come from behind after they gave away a nine-point lead. But they hold on again down the stretch and defeat Seattle Pacific to pick up